welcome back engineers and friends. My name is Mike and today we're going to be talking about vocal processing. How to get a vocal track to basically uh, melt into the track that you have composed. So I have a pretty basic song here. It's just two violins, a guitar, and a lead vocal. This song was composed for a documentary called Bastards Road, which premiered at Santa Barbara International Film Fest 2020 and won Best Doc there and went on to Slam Dance, where it won the Audience Choice Award. And then the coronavirus happened and all the um, festivals that it was scheduled to play at have been canceled. And I hope everybody's staying safe out there. Okay, so let's talk about vocal processing. Let's take a listen to the song real quick just so you can kind of get a feel. It's a folk style song. Finds you, you'll be weeping. You can feel me underneath the tears. I tell myself that you were always listening. It's possible the stars fall on their fears. So the mix is a little bit out of whack. I had to pull all the effects off of it for this tutorial video, but that's okay. As long as we can hear the vocals and hear what's going on with them, that's what we want. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do for the vocal track. Vocals sound pretty good as is. The artist name that sang it is Luke James Schaefer. I'll include a link to his YouTube in the description. If you want to see more of him, um, I did an acoustic video, a acoustic guitar microphone shootout video between the Neumann KM184s and the AKG C414 XLS. Um, he is the featured artist there. So if you want to see a little bit more of him, please check out that video. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is apply compression. And I'm going to be using some Waves plugins here, but any plugins will do. Any compression plugins will do. This is an optical compressor that models the LA-2A, um, the Teletronics LA-2A, which is a beautiful kind of slow moving compressor. And I'm just selecting the Vox preset and we're going to manipulate it from there. I like using presets to kind of start me off and then I kind of work with them. I hope that when this finds you, you'll be weeping. And you can feel me on I tell myself that you were always listening It's possible the stars fall on their fears The wind blows while these thoughts inside my mind That sounded pretty good. Um, I'm not trying to do too much with the compressor. There is going to be a second one following it, so I just wanted to make sure that we do some of the heavy lifting here. I'm trying to keep the compression between 0 and minus 3 dB. Keep in mind, the more compression you apply to a direct signal, um, the more life you take out of it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send this direct signal over to a bus, and Logic does this really well compared to Pro Tools, in my opinion. Um, to do that, I'm just going to use a send, which is right here. I'm going to go to bus, and I'm going to create a bus. Logic automatically pops this up for you, where in Pro Tools you have to create an auxiliary track. It just takes a step out of the uh, out of the game. Okay, now, instead of, you know, selecting a new, you know, compressor, I really just want to use the same compressor. So uh, I'm going to copy the same settings. I'm going to hold Command and Option on a Mac, click and drag and drop. It is now, uh, I have the same compressor on both tracks. This is upper right, this is my parallel compression, and this is my direct signal compression. In fact, let's relabel this. Uh, oop. If I could, uh, I suck. Okay, great. And you can see where they're titled up here, Bus Comp and Lead Vox. All right, let's listen again. Let's back up the track a little bit. You can feel me underneath the tears. I tell myself that you were always listening. It's possible these thoughts fall on deaf ears. The 
wind blows while these thoughts inside my mind don't mind my thoughts are like Moses spread water okay so you see that I'm not going for a lot of needle movement here. I am just trying to kiss the track twice to get a little bit contr uh, of control over it. If I, if I take too much out of it, it's just going to sound lifeless. There will be no dynamics, and vocals are an incredibly dynamic instrument, if you will. If there's no dynamics to your vocal, your, your track's going to have no life to it. Okay, so those are done for now. I'm also going to back the volume off just a hair on the lead box. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, reverb. Now, this is it for the direct signal. I don't like doing anything else besides maybe a little bit of EQ. If you want to EQ, that's fine. I use a, um, a tube EQ, so I do that externally. But that is all I do to my direct signal. The rest is just bussing. All right, so we're going to create a new bus. Oop. And we're going to tackle some reverb. Label. Now you've heard me talk about Valhalla a lot on this channel, and there's a reason for that. It's just amazing. If you don't have it, check out their website. It's spelled like this, um, and maybe give it a give it a go because it's it's relatively cheap and it works just right out of the shoot without manipulating any of these dials. It works perfectly on almost any source. Okay, so I'm gonna start it at full volume so you can hear what it's doing. In fact, I'll leave the uh, just so you can see. I'll leave that up. Here we go. Hope the wind finds you, you'll be weeping. Let's back it off. And you can feel me underneath the tears. I tell myself that you were always listening. It's possible these thoughts fall on deaf ears. The wind blows wild. So it's sounding pretty good already, right? Um, it's starting to melt into that track. Let's back it off just a hair because there's going to be a lot of other stuff echoing. All right, so that's it for Valhalla. We are far from done. Let's start a new bus. And actually, let's, well, I'll, I'll do it in order. Okay, so H delay. We're going to get into the delay part of this now. We have our compression and our uh, reverb. We're going to be doing delays now. And we're going to do three of them, all in stereo. H delay is my favorite delay of all time. You hear me talk about it all the time on this track or on this channel. And I'm going to be going to lo-fi slap. Say that 10 times fast. Lo-fi slap. All right. And I like to just leave it on its default settings there. And same thing. Let's listen to it at full volume. My thoughts are like Moses spread water lead me straight to you i've gone past believe it so you can hear it's very subtle but it's adding a little bit of electricity by giving that really quick delay and that's what a slap delay is it's just very very quick it's like standing in a racquetball court and yelling as loud as you can Cool analogy. <laughs> I suck. All right. Um, so that's not it for delays, though. We are far from done. Let's actually label it. It's important to keep up with your labeling or else you're not going to know what's what. So that was our slap delay. We're going to move on to an eighth delay using the same kind of delay. An H delay. How many times can I say delay in one sentence? Now for this one, I want to do a ping pong um, style delay which is a preset where are we at ping pong and I'm going to convert this to 78 BPM because that is the BPM of my track and the reason why it's a I want to do ping pong is I want to hear this affecting the uh, the speakers uh, in different ways so um, what's happening on the left is not what's happening on the right and it just gets it gets a little bit of swirling uh, movement to your piece so let's check out the chorus again with that on full, and then we'll back it off. My, my thoughts are like Moses, spread water, lead me straight to you. 
I've gone past believing this is the only thing I have that's left to do. I'm on this road to you. So you can kind of tell um, the vocals are really marrying up to the track nicely at this point. Um, we're not quite done. We have one more delay to do, and then we have a couple other things we're going to do. All right, so one more H delay. Now this one is going to be a half delay. So we're going to take this up to just a basic stereo, and I want to take this down to half. Cool. All right. And then we're going to lower our BPM to 78. All right. I'm going to pull that up. Let's go I'm tired of hearing the chorus. Let's go to the verse. I'm taken back by taken back different taken back did it all along this lonely road. Yikes, right? Loosening these worn out inhibitions, covering this tired, lonely soul. Wind blows while these thoughts inside my mind. Now it's very, very subtle, but it's just giving that extra edge that the track really, really needs. So you can see through these two sends, these are my volume levels right here, that they are just not very loud. Even my slap and reverb are not that loud. Um, and the reason why they're not that loud is if you turn these up, it becomes super distracting. Let's take a listen to what happens if they're just too loud. Oh my. my thoughts are like Moses, spread water. It's just too much, right? You're not even be able to hear me talk over it. Let's back it up and listen at a better, uh, better level. Taken back by all these different footprints, lead it all along this lonely road. Loosening these worn out inhibitions. So it sounded pretty good. Okay, so we're not quite done yet. That's it for the delays. The last send that we're going to do is we're going to put a uh, flanger on it. And I like to use Waves Meta Flanger for this. Another common one that a lot of people use is Sound Toys Ultra Boy because that thing does almost anything you want it to with, uh, with vocals. All right, Meta Flanger, same thing. We're going to do a stereo. And I like chorus medium. I think it sounds pretty good, especially with this song. So let me bring this over. And we're just going to title this Flange. All right, let's go to the chorus. And I'll start it on full volume as, as normal so you can hear what it's doing. My thoughts are like Moses. Spread water, lead me straight to you. I've gone past believing this is the only thing I have that's left to do. I'm on this road to you. And there you have it. That is vocal processing in a nutshell. I know it was kind of quick and dirty. Um, the last thing that I really like to do is I like to apply some panning to the reverb and to the, the delays. Everything else I leave down the middle. The reason I do that is I want that direct signal to just shine through. It should be sitting in the very center of our, of our track galaxy and all the other things should be just orbiting it. So let's take the verb out to minus eight. Slap I'll go to minus four and then Eighth delay, I'll take out the plus four, and the half delay, I'm going to take out to, um, actually, you know what, let's switch the half delay and the eighth delay. 
the half delay if it sits too much on one side is going to uh, just shine through the mix a little too much and be a little too present so that's why I want to leave it a little closer to center okay let's take a listen and I might adjust some of these levels as we're going here I'm taken back by all these different footprints Lit it all along this lonely road Loosening these worn out inhibitions Covering this tired lonely soul Wind blows while these thoughts inside my mind Don't mind My thoughts are like Moses Spread water, lead me straight to you I've gone past, believe it This is the only thing I have that's left to do Okay, so um, I just wanted to call up on the screen everything that we used here. You have your parallel compression between the lead vocal direct signal compressor and the send or bus compressor. You have three different uh, delays. You have your lo-fi slap, you have your eighth uh, ping pong delay, and your basic stereo half delay. And then you have your metaflanger, and they are all mixed to these levels right here. Uh, using sends. So this is a a quick way that I, I mix vocals. The, the biggest thing is just make sure you listen to your track. Some tracks don't need or require three different delays. Um, this one has a, a you know a lot of beautiful legato style violin uh, that I thought that longer vocal trail um, of effects would complement and that's why I decided to do things this way. So if you like what you saw please give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see future content as it comes out, click the subscribe button. That would really help out the channel. And we'll see you next time here on Engineers and Friends. Thanks a lot, guys, and stay safe. I'm on this road to you. I'm on this road.